Welcome to the world of media platform called CNX Player, Experience Video, Experience Life. The only video player which plays all your digital content with ease. It supports all popular file formats, some of them are AVI, ZVID, TS, WMV, MKV, MOV, MP4 and WebM. It also consumes less battery which helps you play content for long hours. When it comes to battery usage we are one of the best in all popular mobile app stores. When you will play HD or Ultra HD with the other video players available in the market you will notice different behavior. Some will play your content but will drain your battery very fast and you will not able to view content for long hours. And some players will drain your battery less but will not play video smoothly. But the only player in the market which takes care of these all limitations and plays content with ease without utilizing much battery so that you can enjoy content for long hours. And that is none other than CNX Player. And there is reason for that. And the reason for playing content smoothly and using less battery is because of highly optimized usage of hardware video codecs. If the hardware video codec is not available on the device then we switch to highly optimized software video codecs. We support the latest video codecs like HEVC and VP9, along with the highly used video codec AVC and many more. All the software video codecs are highly optimized for embedded systems like mobiles, tablets and many more. CNX provide a great feature in which you can access other videos while watching a video. CNX provides history management feature in which it holds the track of videos played. The count is maintained and user can also change as per requirement from settings. After closing video screen it will jump back to history view and the last played video will be shown at the front. The time along with date will be shown at the left bottom of the video thumbnail in history view. CNX provide the feature in which you can control your videos wirelessly, you can manage your application videos from your PC. Both of the devices should be connected to same network if you want to use this feature. As you can see Wi-Fi controller on phone consists of two addresses. You can access the videos on PC through these addresses. One is via HTTP and other is via a bonjour. We will show here via HTTP. Now open browser on PC and type the HTTP address in the URL location. As you can see view is getting loaded. Here all your videos are present which are on your phone. On the top right side of window you can see the count of folders and videos in your application. This interface gives you flexibility to manage each video separately. The things which you can do with each video is like edit name, delete and download. Let's see each functionality. 
Edit the name of video by clicking on the Edit button of Video Grid. Delete the video by clicking on Delete button of Video Grid. Download the video onto your PC from your phone by clicking on Download button of Video Grid. See at the bottom of your browser your video file is getting downloaded onto your PC. You can select each video independently and can perform operation on all selected video at once from the options available at top bar. Options which are available at top bar are copy, cut, delete and create folder. Let's have a look at delete multiple videos. As you can see we have selected two video individually and after that we click delete button from top bar. The pop-up will come which will give summary about the deletion along with the name of the video selected. You can select all your video at once by clicking on the selection button at top bar and can perform operation on all videos at once. Now let's create one folder and arrange videos. Click on the folder button at top bar, pop-up will appear in which you can type the name of the folder which you need. After clicking OK button it will jump back to your view and folder will start appearing. All information about the content and folder is shown on that folder grid itself. Now let's copy some files inside the new folder which we created. We have selected two files and clicked on the copy button from the top bar. The pop-up appears and it contains the list of folder which are present in the application. Currently there is only one folder so list is only showing one folder. After clicking on folder from the list, process of copying file starts. You can see the progress of the copying file along with the name of the file which is getting copied. As copying of files gets completed close button will appear on pop-up. As that button gets clicked, pop-up will get disappear and behind view will get updated with the new data. You can see the folder information now in folder grid. It shows the number of files it contains and the count comes to be 2 as we copy 2 files inside folder. Now let's come to the uploading of video files in application. At extreme left browse button comes which helps you to upload files. After clicking on button one window appears from there you can select the video file which you want to upload to phone. After selection, progress of uploading video is shown at left side of window. As uploading finished, view gets refreshed and the new video appear with the rest of the videos. You can also go inside folder and can have a look at the videos inside the folder which we copied in earlier steps. CNX provides multiple themes for user to experience the video player in multiple colors. And user can switch the themes from settings. Four different themes are available. Pink. Blue. Black. And Gray. CNX Player is currently available in all three popular app stores. Apple App Store. Windows 10 App Store. And Android App Store. Thank you for watching video. Please subscribe the channel to get latest updates on CNX Player. And also like, and share it with your friends. And provide your valuable comments on respective, app stores and YouTube.